What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. Today I want to get into success. A lot of times people fall in love with the end result, but they don't fall in love with the process. All right. A lot of times people see others on Instagram with the chains and, you know, a lot of times people see, you know, the private jets. And I've seen Jay-Z talk about this and it really, you know, made me think. Right. People will see things on social media and they just want that, but they don't want to put in the work to actually get that, okay? Or they don't really look at the things that that person did, the waking up super early in the morning and the sleepless nights and putting that overtime, that work in, they don't fall in love with that. You know, they just fall in love with everything else, the glamorous stuff, all right? So I'm talking about Jay-Z right now. So imagine really reverse engineering the process it took for him to get where he's at right now. That'll be amazing for you. So just think about that and try to fall in love with that instead of, you know, the things that you see as the end and result. Because remember, the road to success is under construction always. So no matter what you're going through, it's always lessons you can learn from that. All right. Give it all you got, because when you actually think about something that you want to do and you put your mind to it and you actually become great at it because you're actually doing the work that need to be done. You're doing the things that people do not want to do to get what people don't have. And the more challenges you have, the more success you're going to have. Success brings more challenges. And that's a known fact. That's a fact. So every time you reach a valid excuse, just get rid of it. Every single time, because excuses is going to be something that holds you back. If you wake up and like, oh, I can't wake up that early because, you know, I work all day, so I don't have enough time in a day. Get rid of it. Figure out how to get rid of the excuses that's holding you back. And I know a lot of you listening right now and you know a few excuses that you tell yourself on why you can't do certain things. And once you remove those excuses, then you're able to succeed at that because now you're not making excuses for yourself. I know a lot of people know people who always got an excuse. I know you know this one person, everybody could think of it, that always got an excuse. No matter when you call them or what you call them about, they got an excuse on why it didn't happen or why they didn't do it or why this they point the finger at somebody else and blame it on somebody else. Like they're not accountable for their actions. Don't become that person that you hate (laughs) <laughs> you know, the person that you actually don't like, the person that always have those excuses and you're like, man, this guy got excuses or this girl got excuses every time I talk to them. They never got nothing done. They never get nothing handled. They always got an excuse on why it didn't happen. So make sure you're getting rid of the excuses. And not only you need to get rid of the excuses, you got to figure out, you know, what you're building your self-esteem around. Because that's another reason why things don't happen, because you don't have the self-esteem that you need to make it happen. So you just got to figure out what is your self-esteem built around and make sure it's the right thing. Because the last thing you want to do is build your self-esteem on jury. I don't have jury right now. I don't feel like I'm at my best, you know, or I feel like, you know, I don't have the best cars, you know, have fashionable clothes or man some of the richest people I well, most of the richest people I know don't even wear fashion like that they don't even wear jewelry they don't even drive nice cars so it, it trips me out so you have to figure out what you build your self-esteem around figure out how to switch that you know especially if it's around materialistic things right because that don't make you What's in your heart? What's in your brain? That's what makes you. So if you build your self-esteem about around learning or around giving back or, you know, things like that, that can help you succeed better because it's not materialistic. Because if you lose it, it don't matter. It don't matter if I lose every single thing I ever earned a day in my life. Right. Materialistic stuff just all leave my house, leave, you know, my cars leave, my jury leaves. That does not make me. I can get it all back because I already have the blueprint on getting it back. 
or I'm confident enough to know if I got it once I can get it again. So that doesn't make or break me because I don't have these certain things. Right. So if I switch my self-esteem around, you know, telling people that I love them or telling people, you know, nice things that they don't even know that exists, you know, within their own personalities or they don't even know that they're great at certain things because it's blind spots to them. So if I build my self-esteem around telling people how amazing they are, how great they are, motivating them, you know, that's going to bring a different beast out of me because it's basically helping me as a person and giving me more confidence to go and tell people nice things because at the end of the day, by me telling them nice things, it's not only going to help them out, it builds my self-esteem too because I know I made somebody day or I make somebody feel special or I told them something that they didn't even know about themselves and now they can actually take that in appreciate themselves more so just be careful what you're building your self-esteem around make sure it's something that can really be useful to you and beneficial to you other than that just really getting shit done you know figure out what is it that you want right and go make it happen remember remove the excuses just think about it you know bill gates Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Jay-Z, Diddy, like whoever, these people, everybody I name have the same 24 hours you have. If they can do it, you can do it. No matter what, even me, everything that I've accomplished in life, you guys can do the same exact thing, if not better. You just have to put your mind to it. Focus, put focus on it. Become as great as you can become. Put the work in. Put the man hours in. Do the things that others do not want to do to get what they do not have. Okay? So apply everything in your life. Tap into that hunger. You have to find that hunger. Tap into that because everybody have it inside of them. Figure out what triggers it, right? Figure out what triggers that hunger and then put focus on that. Where is your hunger? Because everybody has it inside of them. Figure out where that hunger lies and figure out how can you tap into that, you know, and use that as a strength. Because no matter what you do, you're going to have temporary defeat. But remember, Time heals wounds of all temporary defeat. So nothing is impossible with time. So remember that. These are all things that I learned throughout the time. Just understanding that no matter what you do in life, you're going to have hurdles. And when those hurdles come, you got to know how to deal with those hurdles. You know, what did you learn from that hurdle? What are you going to take back from that hurdle to make you a stronger individual, to make you a stronger person? So focus on things that's going to drive you to success and do it every single day. Every single day. When you focus on that one thing that's going to drive your success and you do it every single day, it's going to make you the greatest person at that thing. Nobody's going to stop you because you're going to do it every single day. So you're going to get better and better and better and better and better. Just make sure you give in 100 percent at all times. You know, it's 100 percent your choice to give 100 percent no matter what you're doing. Only person you're fooling is yourself. You can't trick yourself on doing things that's going to actually benefit you in your life. You know, it's going to benefit you. You know what you have to do. And you know, if you're doing it, give 110 percent at all times. So I want everybody to go out there and think about that one thing you want to put focus on and do every single day so you can become world class at it. Okay, this is Spectacular Smith. If you guys like my podcast, make sure that you are leaving me a review or you're telling a friend and you're subscribing to it. And this is a way that I get ranked in the actual podcast uh, chart. So make sure you guys, you know, show me some love back. I don't get paid for this right now. You know, I'm doing it all for free for you guys. And my whole objective is not to get paid from it right now. You never know in the future hoes, but I'm just giving back to you guys as much as possible. So take these gems that I'm giving you guys and go do something with it. Love you. Peace. I'm out.